first go to RenPy's download page and click on this green download button. All the links are in the description. Then download this free backgrounds pack. Click on no thanks. Then download both of these. Download the backgrounds pack. And then download the tutorial pack as well. Then download this female character. Click on no thanks. Then download the Keiko zoomed.zip file. Then download the male character as well. Download the zoomed version for this one too. Install RenPy to whichever drive you prefer and open it. The first time you open RenPy you'll be prompted to download an editor if not then click on preferences here. Go here in text editor and download the Atom editor. Then click on create new project. Type in a name. We'll call this one basic tutorial. Click on continue. Choose 1920 by 1080. Click on continue. Choose any one of these GUI themes and click on continue. Then RenPy will create our project along with a project folder located to where we had installed RenPy. Then we'll open our project folder. Or we can open it by clicking here on base from the RenPy launcher. Open the game folder. Open images. Create a folder and name it characters. Create another folder, name it others. Cut or copy these two files. Paste it in the characters folder. Select both. Extract the files using 7-zip or similar tool. Now we have all the images for the characters. Then cut or copy this backgrounds pack. Paste it in the images folder of your project. Extract it. Now we have all our backgrounds ready. Rename this folder to BG. Extract this tutorial pack. Copy these two images. Paste it in the others folder. Then copy these two audio files. And paste it in the audio folder. Then select your project and click on open project. Expand this. Then select script.rpy. Press Ctrl A and backspace to delete all these. Now we will define our characters. So type define space k space equals 2, space capital C character. Open bracket, open double quotation, Keiko, close double quotation, comma, who underscore c o l o r equals 2. Open double quotation, hashtag, f f f f 0 0, close double quotation, close bracket. So we use this small letter K to let the game know if this character, Keiko is talking or not. And this will be the color for our character's name. This is a yellow color but you can choose your own. Search for color picker in Google. Choose any color. Then copy this hex value. And paste it here. Now we will define a second character, T named Taishiro. If we don't choose a color, then it'll use the default theme color we selected earlier. Now let's come down and type label start colon. Then press enter. Now we will start making the actual game. So first let's allow our player to type in their own name to play as, in the game. To do that, open the tutorial pack folder. Then open the script text file. Scroll down. Copy this portion. And paste it here. Press backspace here to bring this in the same indent. So when the game will start, it'll ask the player to enter a name to play as. If they don't type anything, the game will set a default name, which is this over here. Now come down and type T. Which represents the character, 
Taishiro. Open double quotation. Howdy. Percent symbol. Open bracket. P N close bracket S close double quotation. This portion will be replaced with whatever the player set their name as. So now let's check if it works. Open RinPy. Select your project and then click on Launch Project. OK typing in your own name works. Taishiro. Howdy Jenny. So calling the name inputted by the player works too. And if we don't enter any name, then it'll use the default name we set in the script. Now it looks pretty bland, so let's add in a background and an image for our character. Let's bring this down. Press tab. Backspace. And type scene space. Apartment space. B space. Living space. Room space. Day. This is the name of an background image that we extracted earlier in our images folder. This one over here. Also remember that all of these image names should be in small letters. Even the first letter should be small. Now let's choose an image for our character. We'll choose this one. Let's get back to our script. Press enter. Type in show space, Taishiro space, school summer space, happy. Now let's check if they work. Launch your project. Enter a name. And it works. There's our background and Taishiro in his school uniform looking happy. We can also use effects by typing. With fade. And. With dissolve. For our character. Now let's check the effects. See how the images comes in with a fade. Now let's continue. Type PN. PN will represent whatever our player chooses their name as. So the player will say. Wait, did you just break into my house? Then we'll type show Taishiro school summer angry. Taishiro will say. Does it even matter? We are running late. Let's go. Then the player will say. Hey we still have one hour left to get to school. Taishiro will say did you forget? It's Keiko's birthday today. Now let's check. And everything works till now. So instead of writing the character's name and to avoid typo, we can instead write percent symbol, open bracket, K, close bracket, S, apostrophe, S, and like the player's name, this will call in the name that the letter K defines. Let's click on preferences and lower the text speed. It works. It still says Keiko here. Now let's give our player some choices to choose from which will lead to different dialogues.